What's up guys? If you're like me, you bought a brand new Lorance unit HDS7 Live and you're trying to get this cool new feature, custom shading. Hey, you know, you get to see the gradient between the different depths of the lakes. Uh, it makes it real easy for you to just spot out quickly the different depths. But then you put it, turn on the feature and this is what happens. It just looks red. So, you know, I was trying to wrap my mind around this. I even called tech support. They had no idea. I'm like, why does it look like it's not working? You know, and I'm here at Clear Lake, California here in the map, and it's a very popular lake. You know, I call it where big bass dreams are made of. You know, you can catch some huge double-digit bass there. And I'm like, surely if it doesn't work here, then something's wrong. So after a lot of digging online, uh, doing lots of web searches and watching all the YouTube videos that I could find on how to get this custom shading to work, I've come to this fix. And the main reason we have to put this fix is they don't tell you that not every lake or not every water system supports custom shading. It has to be a lake that has been mapped by CMAP already. Only those lakes, even though you have Contour Plus uh, maps here, you can see Contour Plus installed, pre-installed already. So it's not at every body of water, only on the lakes that support it. And it took me a while to figure this out. It seems so simple, but when you're going to your nearest body of water that you always fish, you think, all right, it should work, that's gonna be cool. But it doesn't, as you can see. Now, what just triggered everything was, I decided to go, you know what? Let me go to one of the lakes that they're talking about. And sure enough, when I was in one of the lakes, look, it's working the way it's supposed to, right? You got the custom shading. We, by default, I think it's set up to, you know, the low depth to be red and then it transitions to yellow, green, white, and then deep blue. This is what you want, right? That's this way. Okay, I know the fish are targeted at depths of 10, 12, 13. I'm just gonna fish around the yellows. And this is what custom shading is all about. Great feature. But it took that simple thing of, wait a minute, no one's telling you this. Not every map has, or not every lake has been mapped. So you're not going to see this custom shading at every lake. Let's go back to Clear Lake. See, now on the lakes, that are not mapped, it just shows reds. So when I first started fooling around with this, I'm like, what is wrong with it? This is not working properly. Yeah, there, there's just a glitch. I wish the programmers would add just a, another line of code that says, hey, if this map or this lake isn't mapped, show it as normal. That would be nice, right? But it doesn't do that. And once you realize, again, I, I'm gonna be redundant. Once you realize not every body of water is mapped, your mind starts to go, okay, now let me try to fix this. So here's the fix that I came up with. Let's go to chart options. Let's go to shading. You can see it's turned on, right? If it's off, then it looks like that, but I want it to be on. That's the thing so that the, on the lakes that support it, it shows it. So let's turn it on. Here's what you have to do, a long-winded intro to the fix of the dreaded red map issue. All you have to do is add, and I just put zero depth, and it doesn't matter what color you choose, but I just like using red because that means it's shallow. The key is here, opacity. Add a zero opacity layer because by default, if the body of water that you're fishing in does not support the custom shading, if it hasn't been mapped by CMAP, what you're going to get is, by default, it's going to display the very first item, the lowest depth item on your custom shading set. And before it was, right, the one foot, 100% red. And that's why everything was showing red. But once we add that zero layer, 0% opacity. Now, if it doesn't support 
the custom shading. It's going to show the first item, which is zero opacity. And then boom, look at it. Now it works the way it should, right? Now custom shading is turned on. And now finally, finally, your maps look the way they should. You know, you've got the depth lines, just no color, because this lake, unfortunately, has not been mapped. Now, this is what it looks like proper. Let's go back to it. It's still turned on. Let's go back to a lake that supports it. There you go. So that's the quick fix. You're going to, with this fix at least, on the lakes that support it, you're going to get it. On the lakes that don't support it, it still looks normal. It's not gonna look like red all over. If only they'd tell you, hey, not every body of water supports the mapping. You know, it's kind of like, okay, yeah, they can't map everything, but they just need to tell you. If it doesn't support the mapping, then they need to add that extra line of code. Hey, don't display it. But because they didn't, we have to do this fix, what I just showed you. So I hope this helps you guys. It's helped me because I, I, it, I took a couple of days for me to just wrap around this. Man, you know, I got this whole brand new unit. I want it to work. And the custom shading was one of the features that I really liked that got me to get this HDS unit. But this is a fix to take care of that issue now. Every body of water looks normal if it doesn't support it. And the lakes that support it will show the custom shading. There you go, my long-winded approach to solve finally, at least to fix this issue until they fix it with a software update of having maps showing up red. Hope this helps you guys. If it does, give it a thumbs up, all right? Okay, bye.